Thank you. One the more. Short one? Come on, the short one. There, Kirk, you might want to go. Okay, you good? Yes. You're well. I'm 40 years and going still. <laughs> well, you know, uh, St. Joe, and I told you this a hundred times, if I told you once, that you've been a great citizen downtown for us. Well, you yourself, personally, great citizen. <laughs> Hospital, from <laughs> a corporate perspective. Well, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Yeah, I think we're going to be spending some time with you next week. Is that right? I think so, yes. Yeah. Well, we have a, I'm also doing this a proclamation, is that tomorrow? Oh, tomorrow. when? Tomorrow? Mm -hmm. Okay, I can well, move. Well, I need to do a formal proclamation yes. tomorrow, too, for your 140th uh, uh, and I had got a call to go to Indianapolis to meet Tomorrow, if you want to. A little preview of tomorrow. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Well, can't thanks, wait to, I can't yeah. wait to see your boys again. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Those, those were Chad's boys. They were the ones that were borrowing money. Now my, my boy is almost three. What's that? Uh, uh, Hi, this is Steve and I'm with Kirk Ray, the CEO of St. Joseph Hospital. And they have some exciting things going on this week. Why don't you tell us about that, Kirk? Well, we're celebrating our 140th anniversary uh, on the same spot, same location that the hospital was founded in 1869. As I mentioned earlier, the uh, hospital was started the year that Ulysses Grant was president of the United States. So we've been there all these years, been uh, reinvesting in downtown and the community. We're out uh, actually delivering 140 cakes to area businesses here in and around the downtown area this week. Okay. And then you hit, is the mayor going to be with you tomorrow? Uh, the plans are for the mayor to be at the hospital to do a proclamation. Uh, the, uh, the bishop uh, will be at the hospital this afternoon to perform mass and uh, provide a blessing for the hospital since we are still operating under the original Catholic mission. Okay. Anything else exciting going on? Or? I just think we're continuing to reinvest in technology at the hospital. We've spent uh, about $30 million in the last five years uh, reinvesting in our emergency room. Uh, birthing and labor uh, services uh, uh, in our burn and wound center and a new medical office building to house a residency program. Okay. Anything off the top of your head that might be something that the average Fort Wayner doesn't know or doesn't remember or some tidbit puts you on the spot? About the hospital? About the hospital, some trivia fact maybe? I think a lot of people don't, uh, don't realize that we're still operating under the original Catholic mission even though we've gone through three sales. Uh, the hospital still uh, operates on the original mission it was founded on. How about think, that it's a full service hospital? Oh, yeah, that, uh, I, think, well, <laughs> I think one thing that a lot of people uh, don't realize also is that we are a full service hospital. Everything from heart and vascular services to uh, our senior circle programs, which is a community outreach program for seniors and uh, accessible to everyone in and around the downtown area and Fort Wayne. And you guys aren't planning on going anywhere, are you? Nope. Nope. <laughs> That's good. We're, we're glad to have you. You're good neighbors. Well, thank you very much. Thank you for your time.